Bring out your scene, add a cube, scale it as your desired size, Ctrl A to apply the scale. Now go to shading tab and add a new material to your cube. Delete the default principle and add principal volume. Connect the volume to the volume. Now if you go to the render mode you'll have a box of fog. Add a color ramp and connect it to the emission strength. Then add a noise texture and connect the fact to the fact. Now add mapping and texture coordinates like we always do. Now connect the object to the vector, then vector to the vector. Then bring down the density and principal volume. Now you can control the fog using this color ramp. Put the noise texture on 40. Now you can play around with the scale, detail and also the color ramp to get the fog that you want. It's kinda all over the place so we're gonna add a gradient texture and add the factor to the factor again. For it to be underground and not sideways we need to change the rotation. Connect the mapping to the gradient and the rotation put down 90 degrees minus for the y axis. Now add mix RGB and connect both of them to the colors. Now you can control the mix amount using the factor. Just f around with the settings alright. You can also change the fog color by changing the emission color. Bring out the top side of the menu to bring out the new menu and put it on timeline. Go to the first frame, then bring your mouse to the location and press I to make a keyframe. Do the same thing for the W. Go to your last frame and increase the Z or Y number, then press I. Do the same thing with the W again. Now there you go, you have an animated fog. You can also use it in different situations, like recreating the boys locker room.